Donnie, if you're seeing this, I just want you to know, I'm sorry. We're both sorry. We didn't know. How could we? But just know, we get it now. We get it. Sort of. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. Donnie Dupre will no longer be a nuisance to us. After my associates picked him up at gunpoint from the airport, they dropped him off in the middle of the woods, where nobody can find him. Let's just say that the troubling nature of Demo Reel and Donnie Dupre will no longer be on our radars. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? What? You kidnapped a man at gunpoint and left him to die? That's fing messed up. He, he was threatening our operation. Guy, we're sweet filmmakers. We remake films badly. We're not the goddamn mafia. What are you, a psycho? But, but... Dude, I don't even want to look at you. The less I'm associated with this, the better. Yeah, I'm off to be an internet reviewer. They're mentally stable. Wait! Wait! Where are you going? Does this mean you won't be at the Christmas party? Oh. Ouch. What the hell? Rebecca... You alive? No. Oh, me too. I can't feel my legs. Where are you? On your legs. What happened? All I remember is the Sweet Actors Guild. A scream? Quinn went after you. Wait, where's Quinn? In the toilet. You mean in the bathroom? No, I mean literally in the toilet. What? Why were you in the toilet? Why does your shirt say Malkovich equals balls? Why are you dressed as Belle from Beauty and the Beast? What in the hell happened here? Please tell me it has nothing to do with that. Well, I've gathered all the footage I could find from the past three days. Yeah, we've been out for that long. Typical Irish hangover. Here, some coffee. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh. <coughs> Is there whiskey in this? Yeah, it's Irish coffee. Are you kidding me? Hired a dog. We've had enough dog, thanks. And you don't need Kathy. All right, what do you have here, Mr. P.I.? All right, well, everything. For starters, there's this. Oh, you don't look as good without your dress. Shh. Donnie, if you're seeing this, I just want you to know, I'm sorry. We didn't know. How could we? But just know, we get it now. We get it. Sort of. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. But then there's this. Who's Alyssa Hoffman? And James! Who the hell are these people? Do you know a James? No. You? No. The only friend I know by that name is Jameson. And unless you're dedicating a film to the bottle. Well, it's about time somebody did. So what's after that? A movie. A movie? That we made. When did we make a movie? I, I, I don't know. But we need context. From here on out, we're doing things by the book. We're going to go back to the beginning and figure out how we got here, and maybe we can figure out the biggest mystery of them all. What's that? It's been three days. Where's Donnie? Quinn, come and see Inns. Oh, God, where could he be? Headquarters!
quarters! <sighs> Queen, I swear to God, if you are drinking without me, I will find you and sterilize you faster than Bob Barker at a puppy pound. So be it. Queen, when I come back, your balls are mine! According to the answering machine, Carl called nearly three days ago. What did he say? I don't know. The reception was piss poor. Something about Bob Barker's balls. Germans. And we have no choice. We need to go in order and see what happened. Did you guys hear that? Rebecca? Who are you? I'm Fabrizio. I work here. Who are you? It's coma. It's okay. It's the tenant. I'm Rebecca, your security guard. Oh yeah, the stunad. That's right. What are you doing with the butcher's knife? I was, uh... making marinara sauce. This late? I'm a hungry man. See, we were defending ourselves against a group of angry psychos and about to get drunk to numb the pain if you'd like to join us. Yeah, sure. It wouldn't be the first time I've heard that often. Okay. Okay, director's log. Time code... zero. More numbers are adding up. I'm not gonna bother to put it together. I'll keep you updated. Anyway, I seem to be uh, abandoned in the middle of the woods here. Um, no doubt, obviously, those swag bastards. I don't exactly know what to do. I'm not really a survivalist, but uh, one thing I do know about is film. So I've been saying to myself, what would the Blair Witch Project do? and then just do the exact opposite of that, because those kids were f***ing idiots. Okay, so the first thing those kids from the Blair Witch Project did is that they got lost for 10 seconds and they panicked. So, I am not gonna panic, which is easier said than done. But, after having myself a good cry... Actually, maybe I need another one. It's really scary! Okay, better. Uh, but the good news is that I'm so deep inside the forest that chances are nothing dangerous could hear me and drag me down and do whatever he's probably going to do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at here. Look at here. We got a bottle, people. A bottle. Okay, you know what that means? That means civilization. There's people out here. Okay, I'm going to read it, see if I can get some more information. Uh, let's see. Uh, Army of Northern Virginia, Confederate States of America. I don't think that's a good sign. <sighs> I only hope Rebecca and Tacoma are doing okay without me. Yeah! Come on, 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 that is why you never play drunken truth or dare with me. Damn, Thank girl. You. I've never seen a non Irish woman drink so much. I told you, I can't do caffeine. But liquor, you will be my bitch. <laughs> By the way, Fabrice, this marinara sauce is delicious. That's because the secret is in the meat. What kind of meat is it? Scaletti. Is that some kind of pork? No. That's a stunad on 55th Street. It wouldn't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The secret's in the oregano. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Meatball? Oh, God, no. Well, at least we know who that guy is. Keep going. Let's see what else happened that night. All right. So, I've uh, spent the last four hours trying to build a fire by rubbing two sticks together. Uh, found out doesn't really work when everything is so wet. I only saw it work once on Pawn Stars. Chumley tried it, it was pretty funny. He won a bet. Uh, not so funny? Uh, trying to keep cool by the light on your cell phone. Stupid energy saver! Come on, my fingers are too numb to keep turning you back on! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Uh, hey, I'm lost! Can, can you hear me? <laughs> God, I hope that's a female. 
Okay, so obviously if I'm gonna be out here for a bit, I need food, I need to eat. So um, I've taken a bunch of uh, acorns and uh, leaves and I dug a little hole and just set a little trap for a little woodland friend. Wait, there might be one here. Why am I telling a camera to shh? Okay. I got him! Oh! Okay, so interesting thing about squirrels, uh, apparently they're natural jumpers. Uh, and I don't mean like, you know, whoop, uh, just out of the horse. I mean like Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back in the carpet feet, just like, show me and I mean, just like unbelievable. But it's okay, because you know what? I tracked him. He's not going to get away from me that easy. Okay, so I, I tracked him in this tree, and I imagine uh, if I can just find a way to climb up the tree. And... <laughs> you know, I heard squirrels are poisonous. I'm not going to do this. Truth or dare? Yeah, I, I, uh, I think. That means truth. Okay. Ooh, what was your first sexual experience? <laughs> well, I was camping with Uncle Fred. Dare! Dare. Dare. Okay, so I spooked a possum, and he appears to be playing dead. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if playing dead means, like, he's just acting, and he's gonna, like, spraying on me and trying to attack me, or I thought I heard somewhere that they play dead so much that, like, they'll play dead until they are dead. Like, they just won't move. I'm gonna take a chance. I mean, chances are the first one isn't right anyway. Yeah, the first one was correct. Uh, apparently when they're playing dead, they are just playing dead, waiting to strike. With teeth! Rows filled with shark-like teeth. But uh, the plus side to that is that apparently they're no match for a shoe. Yes, just an everyday common shoe thwacked against their furry little skull seems to be their kryptonite. So, yeah, uh, he's not going to be bothering me anytime soon. <laughs> Rebecca, Tacoma, if you can hear this, I want you to give the eulogy at my funeral. No doubt you were the only people concerned when I was missing. It's like sick the soleil, except minus the evil French Canadians. Hey. Yeah, well now it's your turn, Fabrizio. You gotta do that magic act you were talking about. Fine, fine, but just give me a minute to set up. Oh, Rebecca, you're a lot more talented than I previously thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm not as dumb as you guys all think that I am. I, I never said that you were dumb. I, I know it, but I can tell. Everybody thinks that about me. I, I don't, for one. I... No, it's okay. It's okay. Like, it's not your fault. It, anyone who first meets me really thinks that, and then they don't get a chance to actually see if I can do anything or have opinions or... I, I think it's just an actress thing. People just assume that because you're going into the world of acting, you, they think it's an easy out. Well, yeah, but, I mean, you'd think that talent would be something that mattered when you're trying to get cast, but it, it really it doesn't. Like, if you're pretty, that's great. If you're dumb, that's even better, because then you don't have an opinion or you don't have an idea of how you want to do the There's role. There's plenty of actresses who aren't traditionally attractive. Look at Kathy Bates. Character actress. She plays psychos and smarmy bitches. Yeah, but in that about Schmidt, she took a top off. And did you see it? No. Why? Because she took a top off. Exactly. All right. How about Judy Dench? She's British. She could read out of the phone book and it would sound credible. 867-007. Okay, <laughs> then. What about Meryl Streep? Margaret Thatcher, Julia Child, Skeletor's lover from Bridges of Madison County, shrews, cartoons, cougars, and milfs. Oh, all right, Cameron Diaz and being John Malkovich. They didn't make her look hot in there. Oh yeah, let's take the hot chick and make her look frumpy. Brilliant. She can get any role she wants. Do you know how many normal, ugly people would kill for that role? But no, let's hand it to the cute one and praise her for being edgy. Huh. That's what 40 means in Hollywood, Tacoma. I'm 23. That means I'm at my midlife crisis. How sad is that?
Well, on the plus side, it's not like your career is going anywhere anytime soon. So, oh, well, I, I mean, that was really stupid to say, wasn't it? This is the part where you go after her, before I turn your testicles into bangers and mash. Is anything you say not a stereotype? Go! Hey, are we doing this or what? Oh, fantastic. Well, at least it isn't that creepy little girl. <laughs> it's okay. There's no such thing as ghosts. As I keep telling myself, there's no such thing as ghosts. No such thing as ghosts. No such thing as ghosts. No such thing as... Rebecca, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Go away, I'm busy. Rebecca? Bangers and mash. Rebecca. Go get out! Oh! Occupado! What'd you do that for? Oh. Whoa, who's that guy? So this is the best way into the foot? Well, what you looking for? If this tracking device is richtig, and it's very faint, mein comrade. Hey, you can't go in there. Und warum not? They say there's a witch that died on Christmas Eve. Don't be a dumb cop. Aren't you scared? Listen, my friend. If there's one thing my people have taught me, it's that there's nothing that can be solved by shooting it. Say I didn't warn you. And don't say I didn't call you an idiot. So uh, I realized I gotta get out of here. So what I did was that uh, last night I looked up to try to find the North Star. But it was cloudy, of course. So what I did is that it was not cloudy for like 10 seconds. So I got the north side of this tree. And you can see I, I marked it with berries here. Uh, so that way I know that this way is north. And I have one sheet of scratch paper. I have one pen with just enough ink to get this. Gone north, send help. So if anyone does come across this way and they see that tree, they'll know where I went and they can at least find... Will most likely be my riding course. There we go. Hopefully, we won't hear any more of <laughs> that. For the last time, I'm sorry. I thought you were crying or something. No, that was after you saw her can on the can. Look, I feel awful. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? I don't know. Fabrizio, think there's any favors you need called in? Oh, I can think of a couple. And now my lovely assistant will show you that the hat is empty. And that is how you dispose of a filthy animal who won't keep his mouth shut. Okay, so in the Blair Witch Project they come across a stream and then they just walk right past it. This was stupid. All water leads somewhere. People set up around water, because guess what? You need water to survive. So, my thought is that I just keep an eye out for a stream, uh, uh, listen for some water, follow that to some form of civilization, and hopefully that'll get me somewhere. <laughs> there is no water! No water at all! Anywhere! Plenty of trees! Look at all the trees! Look at all the trees! But, 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 no, 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 no water, no stream, no anything! It looks like this used to be a stream, didn't it? Did it just dry up? Did this, this plant that then turn to Arrakis or something from Dune? Do I even, even get that? I'm referencing Dune, that's how... So I had what I thought was a little bit of a MacGyver moment. Uh, I used my hat and my socks, uh, cut it up, and I put a rock in there as well as a means of collecting rainwater. But... Guess what it's not doing? <laughs> no rain, no rain at all. Again, you know, it just seems like the world uninhabited by water. No God's tears today, but I can tell you right now, I'm gonna get some going. <laughs> oh, we know I gotta save my saliva. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. I really am sorry about all that stuff I said earlier. Nah, we're past that. You look really good in yellow anyways.
thought it made my ass look kind of big, but thanks. <laughs> okay. Truth or dare? Well, the truth's always gotten me in trouble, so why stop there? Truth. Do you really think we should stop demo reel? Boy, now, that's a toughie. I, I know I always told Donnie that we should, but in all honesty, I don't know. I mean, I joined this project with high hopes and it turned into a, a nightmare. I sit in a dark room and throw my soul down on paper, then watch it get torn apart by whoever, Donnie, the internet. I guess I'm just lucky to be in a field where I'm able to express myself. But everybody says it's crap anyway. So what's the point? Why write if nobody says you can write? Why act if nobody says you can act? My God, this is depressing. And I'm Irish. I'm gonna have to go put on Angela's ashes, just so I can remember what it's like to laugh again. Eh, screw it. Let's drink. Oh, hey, we're all out. Uh, hey, Fabrizio, you got any wine? Well, as an Italian, I always come prepared. Oh, 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 oh wow. We're gonna need a bigger glass. I think Donnie keeps a brandy snifter in the editing room. All right, I will go grab that. In the meantime, let's spice things up a little bit. Fabrizio, truth or dare? Uh, truth. Have you ever killed someone? Dare. Rebecca! Rebecca, come here! Go. I'll protect the booze. Come on, what is it? You're not gonna believe this. So I rummaged through my pockets and look what I found. Toothpaste. Which you wouldn't normally think is a four course meal, but you know what? I'm getting that desperate. The only other thing I found is these uh, berries that uh, I don't know whether or not they're poisonous. The toothpaste has to be safer, right? <laughs> If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center. You know, the poison control center that's in your local neighborhood. <laughs> Who would have thought that toothpaste was poisonous? Google it, apparently it's... Okay, well, I, I guess now the choice is obvious. I have to eat the berry. Interesting bit of reading on the back of that toothpaste label. I found out that the most common thing found in everybody's bathroom, uh... Apparently, if consumed too much, gives you the shits, the shakes, and uh, causes you to hallucinate. At least that's what the yellow monkey has been telling me. Isn't that right, Periwinkle? Shut up! <clears throat> okay. I know I'm out of my element. That's why I've reached the final act of desperation. After you've drank your own urine, eat leaves, and committed possum side, there's only one other desperate act one can make. Prayer. I'm a worthless man, I'm a small man, I just need your help. If you can give me anything, some sign, just a, a, a little bit of hope for me to cling onto, I will dedicate my life to making things better, not worse. And if not, I swear, I will sell my soul to Satan. I'll do it. I will find the nearest willing creator, bludgeon it to death, and sacrifice it on a black altar of pine cones and tree sap. Nothing? Nada? Okay. Hey, Sane, it's Donnie. Um, I know we haven't talked much before, but, uh, if you could just send me a woodland critter and maybe some pine cones and some tree sap. Well, that was a bust. But, hey, on the plus side, at least I know enough going around in, uh... I realize something now. Life is not a movie. You can try your best, do everything correct, and yet you can still fail. Just get used to it. It's the way things are gonna happen because you can try your best to do everything right, but in the end you still wake up in the middle of the forest abandoned and dying to death. Nothing is going to save me right now. 
I'm just gonna die alone. I don't know how my mom used to love this stuff. I don't know how she carried that enthusiasm, how she used to have so much brightness to her, and, 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 and then... How did that get her through such tough times? How did that carry her? How can I get just a little bit of that right now? Just a little bit to get me through this pain? The answer is, I can't. Nobody can. So just give up. Ah, this looks like a good place to die. Nah, yeah, don't worry, I'm coming soon. <laughs> Cinematographer's log. Director down. Repeats. Director down. <laughs>